But hold on, let, let, let's let's back up for a minute, right? Why do y'all think? Okay, this is the question. Because <laughs> you know, again, it's it's organic and it's dope. I like I like this. I like how the conversation is going. I think that y'all adding a lot of insight, right? Um, give me y'all thoughts on open, open relationships, open marriages, whatever, based off of experience, perceptions, however it is that y'all see things. Give me y'all, give me y'all thoughts on it in a general sense. I'd rather not. Why? Give me why. Tell me why. Simply because I'm not for sharing <laughs> my partner <laughs> or my mate <laughs> with anybody and I'm too territorial and I'm too jealous. And I know these things about myself, so I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I'm having to be somebody outside of who I am on a regular. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you angry on a regular basis? No, I'm saying I don't want to be that. Oh. That's okay. gonna make me. That's gonna make I gotta me share my man. That's when I have to that. think yeah. about competition, I don't want to compete that way. That's not an area of my life where I really want to be right. in competition or feel like I'm less than. I don't want somebody to make me feel like I'm not good enough. I want to feel right. like like I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm. I want to be that only. I'm that for you, yeah. and you're that for me. Okay. And that, that's how I feel because it's like, other than that, to me, it's like, what's the point of getting married if we about to be? That's why I like when people be like, oh, well, he cheated, he could come back, whatever. Mm, nah, because that's that's masculine energy right there. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back to what Lane said. Depends on how poor you are. <laughs> I just feel like at the end you of the day, if you you're really about to sit here and get down on your knees, spend all this money on my ring, all this money on my dress, my wedding, all this in front of all these people. You about to go out and, and do what? You gonna cheat or you gonna dip out like I'm not about to share you. That's me, that's mine. I don't got So wait, 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 wait. So do you think that people should be in open relationships? Some people, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that in there. So wait, you more like Erica. <laughs> yeah. And that you're territorial. What's mine is mine, cause I get I get I get angry fast and I know I'm a jealous person. That's something I'm working on, and I, I just... I think most women are territorial. Yeah. You know, it's just that some women who are in those situations, who are in, um, you know, sharing their man, or you hear some women who like, oh, I don't want to... I want to be the side chick, you know, or they're okay with that because, they're like, I don't... I can't live with a man every day. I heard a woman say, they're like, oh, that's your excuse? Okay. You know, but, like, but to each his own. But, like I say, <laughs> I'm not knocking nobody for how they want to make themselves yeah. feel about what they want to do, but um, that's not my way. I would... I, I'm, I would prefer I to do. be a one I'm man's woman, but you do. People. I feel like. Yeah. Well, I knock people because I think that people don't really know what they're getting themselves into, and so just because people want to do it, you can't unsee what your experience is, mm -hmm. and so as a result, they find themselves, in or even worse. <laughs> this is the, this is the worst case scenario, right? It has nothing to do with the adults. It starts to affect the children, right? That's true. They see that because true. the children didn't ask to be here. And so you create an environment that may or may not be conducive for them based off of how you feel. And then we just got the freedom to do it. When becoming a parent is literally giving up what you think for the best of whoever it is that you have to take care of, mm -hmm. right? And so when you start to pay attention to the effects of how somebody's decision starts to affect other people, including the communities that you serve or the people that you got support and stuff. I can't turn a blind eye to it and say, well, you know, I got to ignore it because then it starts to affect everybody because then we have to support or we have to start having these conversations about mental health and past trauma and how that's going to start okay. to affect how it is that you move in the future or how you're going to view men or women or so on and so forth. It starts to become an issue because then that popularity of whatever that thing is starts to spread because now we have social media and it's not contained just within your environment or your family or your circle or your neighborhood or whatever like that. It's, it's going to be spread amongst everybody. But it's a generation, like which is so sad. It's like you said, it's in the music. It's in the, the three ways and the, let's have a threesome and let's all this stuff that's projected on TV and, and the music and the kids are growing up with, and the women are wanting to, like you said, wanting to be accepted. So they feel like, oh, they're coming at me sexual. So they kind of like putting themselves like, that's just the new way. Like, you or know, that's what we do. Yeah, that's like, they don't have, and it's fucked up. They don't but. have that structure. That structure right, they don't have it. Some of them have that They following trends. They that's what they doing. Well, but think about it like this, though. This is my point. 
is that if all you know, let's just say, for example, you got married as a virgin and you only want one person for the rest of your life or whatever, so on and so forth. Work, let's just like create this, this scenario where you're not exposed to porn, you're not exposed, exposed to what other people is doing on social media. All you know is what's happening in your little space, you know, with your little group or whatever like that, your little married, married friends that you got going on and all of that other type of stuff, right? And so when you're not exposed to something, you don't know what you don't know. Like, right. you don't, it's almost like- That's true. If, I, if I'm not familiar with cocaine, right? If it never even comes into my purview, it's nothing that I have to turn down and it's nothing for me to be tempted by, mm -hmm. right? Whereas then when you expose to everything all at the same time, brain overload, so much that I got to reject. You got a hundred different people. If you go out and you got a hundred different people that's petitioning you or trying to holler at you all at the same time, it's a strong possibility one of them going to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to even be curious about the possibility of what if, right? So the ex exposure is then what puts you in a position to where you have to then reject mm -hmm. because I'm not tempted by something that I'm not interested in, right? And so when you say, okay, well, let's just invite everybody in. Because see, what I heard from Jess, and Jess, correct me if I'm wrong, right? What I heard from Jess was, it's hard. And you don't know who's going to get jealous. <laughs> and you don't know who's going to be possessive all of a sudden because they didn't know that they was possessive until they seen you getting bust down by somebody else. Yeah. And they catch it, Like, you feeling. don't know. Oh, I'm feeling real. So, yeah. and, and correct me if I'm wrong, or give me your perspective on it. And I, I do think, yes, that's absolutely true. But I think that your logic only considers the deficit side of the scenario, mm -hmm. the negative aspects. There's also an abundance of joy, energy, and fulfillment from multiple people who offer different experiences with you as a lover, whether it be, and I, I say lover because it's literally my love. Like it's not even just because we're physically intimate, but it's like, I literally have such care for you. I have so much joy when as a human and has added to my life. And so like, yes, it's more complicated, but being in relationship with people is complicated. Having more friends is complicated. That's why when I'm on my grind, I'm like very isolated. I don't be around people because it takes so much of my energy. And so I think that acknowledging the work, no matter what, being a parent takes work. You're self-sacrificing, you're busting your ass to make sure they have everything that they need. It takes work, but it also adds so much more beauty and richness. And as someone who has um, so much love and dedication and commitment to my, my vision for my life and what I want and what I know my purpose is to be and what my needs are, um, it has allowed me to have a more expansive experience in that.